Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how I'm using LinkedIn right now to get clients for my business. And I'm going to keep this pretty casual. I'm gonna show you the overall strategy that I'm using. And I just recently started posting on LinkedIn again, literally two days ago from filming this video. So I'm gonna give you the strategy that I'm using this year to acquire clients using LinkedIn and exactly what I'm gonna be doing with this. So before we begin, if you're new to the channel, my name is Sean and on this channel, I talk about how to make money from writing online. So if you want more content around that, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and also hit the bell icon if you don't wanna miss any of my future videos just like this. So let's hop into my screen here. This is my personal profile. And like I said, I'm gonna keep this pretty casual and just walk through exactly what I'm gonna be doing and what my plan is to use LinkedIn to get clients. So when you look at my profile, you notice that it is optimized for the person that I am trying to help, my ideal customer, ideal client. So the few areas that I wanna point you to are first of all, my cover photo, and you can see it says email rainmaker, helping you make more money with email. It also has a link to my personal site here, seananthony.co. And this is also a very powerful area that you wanna optimize as well, is the headline or your tagline. And so mine says building a $1 million one person business writing one email a day, helping people make money from writing online. And the reason this is very important for you to optimize this for your ideal person is you can see on the right here, you can see all of their taglines. So this is the first thing that people see. And when I'm showing up in the homepage or my content is showing up, that's the first thing you see is that tagline. Now, the way that most people use this is they'll just put their title here, right? And this guy here, I don't know him, but it says executive vice president. That's fine and all if you're working at like a, a corporate company or you're, you're currently working in a job somewhere. But if you are an entrepreneur or solopreneur or freelancer, or you run your own business, you're a founder, I think it's more useful to optimize your headline and your tagline to speak directly to who you're trying to serve and who you're trying to attract. So I'm trying to attract people who want to make money from writing online and who wanna build profitable businesses from doing that. And that's what my, my tagline does here. So cover photo, Tagline speaks directly to that person. My about section is probably right around here. I need to update this. This is mainly optimized for my done for you services clients. So I'm gonna be changing this a bit, but your about section should be like a mini sales letter about why someone should work with you, what you're about and how you can help them. So that is the third area, the about section. And some extra things that I've added that I never used to do. I've, I've been using LinkedIn for a while for other purposes, but you can see here the featured tabs. Now this looks a lot cleaner on mobile. I have to adjust these image sizes, but these are links to my different keystone pieces of content. So this is my newsletter link. If you go here, it goes to my personal website. Someone opts in, first name, email, and they get something free in exchange. So I have a free course, it's called the 1K a day offer buffet, breaks down my business model, and someone can opt in for this free course and see exactly how it works. So this is a pretty cool area because as you can see, it's, it's like a website, right? When you go to a website, it showcases your best work and the things that you want people to click on. And that's exactly what this featured section does here. I also have one of my products here, the super fast sales email challenge. If you click on this, it takes you to the sales page and I can get sales directly from this featured section. One more area that I wanted to point you to is this area here. This is a new thing that I saw and I just thought, why not just optimize this and uh, add a link here. So this links to my website, build your one person business. Click here, goes right to that same link I just showed you. They can opt in, they can see how I built my one person business and they can see my entire business model in this free course. So that is the first thing that you wanna do. If you're trying to use LinkedIn to get clients, you wanna optimize those areas that I just said. Your cover photo, your headline, your tagline, I don't really know what it's called this section here where it's like a, a call to action, you want them to click over to your website or check something out, you can have that here. The featured section, if you have any links or freebies that you can give out, you can link to it here. And then also your about section. So that is like the foundation. You have to set this up, or in my opinion, it's not gonna be as effective, at least if you're trying to copy what I do, if you're trying to get clients and you haven't optimized your profile. So go ahead and do that first, make sure it's very clear on who you are and who you help and your ideal client. And so when someone clicks over to your, your LinkedIn profile, it's talking directly to them. Now, next, what is my overall strategy? How am I using LinkedIn to get clients? Because I can't simply optimize my profile and expect to get high paying clients coming to me and just paying me out of, out of nowhere. 
So I might have some people buying this because this is a $49 product, so it's a lower ticket thing. But I work with a lot of higher end clients who are investing four to five figures plus with me. And that's where the bulk of my sales comes from. So the way that I'm using LinkedIn is as a publishing platform. So if, if I go here and I scroll up to my post section, you can see I just started posting a couple days ago. So this is a day ago, this is yesterday. You can see I got pretty good engagement, 274 or 275 likes or engagements and 130 comments and 32,649 views. And all this is, I run an email every day. I'm just repurposing my email to LinkedIn. And so I'm taking one piece of content. If you watched my previous video about repurposing and multiplying your content without multiplying your work, this is exactly what I'm doing here. So I'm posting content. And what happens in the mind of a person who reads this is if it talks directly to them, and this is this clearly hit a nerve with the amount of engagement it got, they're going to click over to my profile. They're going to see what I'm about. And if they want to achieve the result that I help people achieve, they are going to probably click on one of these things, right? Join my email list. They'll probably watch my some of my YouTube videos, maybe even buy a product of mine. And that is how I get them into my world. Now I'm going to link to another video below. It's called my email cash machine. That's what happens after somebody joins my email list, the conversion process. But the way that I'm using LinkedIn is to get attention and get people onto my list and create uh, consuming my content and getting to know more about me and how I can help them. So I'm posting content once a day. I'm scheduling out my emails once a day so that it goes out and I can get more awareness in the feed here through my content. And like I just said, people click over to my profile, they check out what I have. But also what happens is I can open up my messaging tab here. You can see this is just from in the last day, how many messages I have from people reaching out to me. And this is why content is so powerful. It's leveraged, I can post one piece of content and get dozens of messages like this of people wanting to know more about what I do and how they can follow me and how they can join the mission together, right? How they can start doing this for themselves. And so to wrap this up and walk you through the strategy again, I have my profile. It's optimized for my, my ideal person, my ideal client. I'm posting one piece of content per day, maybe two. I might start doing two at some point, but I'm posting one piece of content per day. This gets attention onto my profile. Not every post is gonna get you know 32,000 views. Maybe some will get more, some will get less, but I'm getting attention every day consistently. And in turn, every time I post a piece of content, not only are people checking out my profile, but they are messaging me. There are people who are interested in learning more, interested in having a conversation with me about how I can help on a higher level. And once people are on my email list and they're consuming my content, that's where my email cash machine kicks in, which I'll link to below. That's the conversion process of once they're on my list, what happens? How do I make money from that? How do I get clients from that? So LinkedIn is gonna be a key piece in my content strategy for the remainder of this year and likely beyond that. And this is exactly how I'm using it. Optimized profile, publishing content, one, one piece of content a day, creating conversations from that piece of content and getting people into my world, onto my email list, watching my YouTube videos and buying some of my products through the content that I'm posting. So hopefully this was helpful for you to see and hopefully you got some value out of this. Give it a like if you did. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and let me know if you're gonna be using LinkedIn to get clients for yourself with a similar strategy to mine. So that's it for this video. Hope you found it valuable. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.